Hello, I'm Chef Jake, and this is a doctor. Hello viewers of YouTube, I'm Dr. Janus. And today, we will be opening vintage food cans. Today we have peanut butter, mushroom soup, corn, air, raisins, and potatoes. Now you may be wondering, why the heck do I have a doctor here? Well, he's gonna tell me what I should and shouldn't eat so I don't die. I was hired off of Craigslist. You were high? Yeah. Which one do you want to start with first, Doc? The healthiest thing here is probably the peanut butter. Peanut butter can't expire because of the chemicals and the nutrients creating the calcium makes the protein push it through. Right here, we have a can of 1977 Skippy peanut butter. Mm. Skippy Super Chunk Peanut Butter. Buy before January 5th, 78. Mm. So, we're about 40 years late. There's no damage to the can. No rusting, it looks like. That's probably peanut butter. It smells like nothing. Yeah, no, it is peanut butter, yeah. doctor. Yeah. Thank you for verifying that for me. You're welcome. I wonder what food's inside it. The one thing that you always want to look for is the burst of air right when you open it. That's how you know it was stored right. When there's no burst of air, that means it's probably rotting, not fresh. Let's hear that pop, baby. Uh-oh. It might have already been open. Okay, that's not good. See the air bubble right there? Yeah. That's not good. That little uh, peanut butter nipple? The inside looks pretty good. It might have been open before. Dude, there was no pop. What if this is 2020 peanut butter put in a 1978 peanut butter jar? So you're saying someone's trying to fuck us? Someone's trying to fuck us. How about we deep dive into the peanut butter? Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's chunky peanut chunky. butter. Chunky. Chunky. That looks pretty good. That does. Wow. That, that looks like there's nothing wrong with it. That looks like some pretty damn good peanut butter, if you ask me. Another question, Doc. Is it able to be tasted? I've seen a lot, kid. I've seen chunky. I've seen smooth. I've seen seedless, boneless. This is 100% safe to eat. I think this is safe to eat. <laughs> is it? Honestly, I didn't hate it. It wasn't that bad, but since I have no water right now, it's stuck inside my mouth. 40 year old peanut butter ages pretty well. Since the doctor chose the last one, I'm gonna choose the next one. And I'm gonna have to go with mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. <laughs> Here's the problem with mushroom soup it's a vegetable. My theory is that it's rotten. Moving around pretty well, yeah. still pretty runny, unless it was supposed to be chunky. Then we have a problem. This old can is from the 1950s, which is older than my parents, and we're about to open it. No, we're about to eat it. <laughs> no. Keystone condensed mushroom soup. Uh, what does condensed mean, Doc? Condensed, that's like when your tummy's kind of like, you know? Doc, I think you just farted. No, sir. We just farted. <laughs> you know, the problem is, usually when I open these old cans, there's never an expiration date. Doc will have the first bite. No. I guess today's question is, can it expire? It's not that rusty. I don't think that a puncture could have gotten there. Let's open it up. I got just what we need. <sighs> Thank God I'm paying you, Doc. How much is it gonna be, 200K, because I don't have insurance? 400. No burst of air, but I don't know if this is supposed to have air in it, so. Let's see what we're working with. Just like a chew, chew, train. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's fucking disgust. Ah! What? That is disgusting. <laughs> okay, get the cap. Ah! Get the lid out. Get the lid out. Ow! Oh, it actually reeks. <laughs> it actually fucking. Oh my god. I, you know what? I think I just don't like mushroom soup. I think it smells like mushroom soup, but I just don't think I like that. Oh my god, stop, dog. That is so nasty. I dare you to take a bite. Doctor, fuck no. <laughs> Considering it's mushrooms, it's definitely rotted. If it, if it were dry, if they were dehydrated mushrooms, it would have been fine. Your turn, what are we opening next? I know I'm just a doctor. And I might be raising the bar with this one. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go with the corn. <laughs> you know, for a second, Doc, I thought you were gonna say raisins. Why? <laughs> this one scares me. 
Yeah. Cream style gold sweet corn. Let's see if we have a date. Boom. 1963. Pocahontas quality foods. This is the issue that I'm running into with this can. Hmm. It has a ginormous air bubble at the top of it. Like this thing is ready to explode. That's a tumor. Since you're the doctor, I think you should open it. Let me get out my spectacles. Oh! That was a oh! Man, that smell is blowing at me. Mm, it almost smells like... It was ready. Cream style golden sweet corn. Ah! Okay. Hey, it's cream corn, man. Okay? It's just cream corn. Look right here. Oh my god, do you smell that reek of like aluminum? That might that might be mold right there. I'm just wondering what that little blob is. Do you smell that reek of like, it smells like gas. Back in the day, the metals would like bleed into the can with it and it makes it very, very dangerous to eat. So knowing that this just reeks of aluminum, this probably isn't safe to eat. If you guys could smell this, this literally, what would you say it smells like? Licked a penny or something? Yes, it does! Yes, it's like you dog. licked a penny. Cream corn. Ugh. Looks like 80 year old corn just isn't good to eat. Corn. I just think it's not fair to not open the big large cans yet. How about we start with the raisins? Sam Andy Foods, life insurance in a can. What does it mean by life insurance in a can? <laughs> is that what it says? <laughs> that was their slogan? This is how you got life insurance back in the day. Our parents <laughs> never will tell you that. It sounds really dry. Raisins kind of have that mushy feel to it. These raisins are from the 1960s. There is no punctures, it seems like. You heard that? Yeah. That was a lot of air. That was good. This might be fresh. Oh, these smell good. Oh, 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 no, it doesn't. Hey, it doesn't smell good? Smell it. Ah! That smells like wine. Oh no. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. It's a baseball. You know, it comes a it becomes a grape and then it becomes a raisin. Mm. And this is this is the step after that. Yeah, this is the step where it becomes a uh... Look at that. The bottom is completely chunked. That's a lot of raisins. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I do not think that these raisins will kill you. I just think they're way too dry. They're not gonna taste like a regular raisin, of course, but it was sealed, Jake. It tastes like a regular raisin. <laughs> you shouldn't be eating that. Just let the poison sink into your saliva. Honestly, I think that we should open the fresh can of air and then save the potatoes for the grand finale. After breathing in all these chemicals, we could get some fresh air. It says, in case of smog, a breath of clean air. We live in Los Angeles. I think that that has the most smog. So we need this the absolute most. Put your hands like this, and then when you bend it. Are you supposed to, like, because when you pop it open, you just go. <sighs> this fresh can of air is from the 70s, 50 years old. Oh my god, it's cold. Is it? Oh, no, don't breathe that in. Whoa. No, <laughs> that is straight poison. It smells like metal. Ugh, it smells like gasoline. It smells like gasoline. It's rusting from the inside, so that's probably why it smells like crap. You know, it's almost like it took our breaths away. Potatoes! Me, oh my. We got potatoes from the 1960s. Multi-purpose, ready dice. That honestly looks like a sack of testicles. That looks like a sack. Oh no. Wait, oh. That was nice. That was a good pop. That was a good little pop pop. You just break the can opener. I don't want to get my hand cut because I will get tetanus. And I just cut myself. You cut yourself? Oh no. Oh. Oh. I will have to get my tetanus shot tomorrow. Immediately. Alright. That's the video for today, guys. Thank you so much, Doc. 
make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. If you guys want to see me unbox more old food, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.